Well, today I thought it would be fun to share a small town rummage haul that I have gotten this past weekend. So I went with a friend and we went rummaging for about three hours and in our small town, I mean small town, like 700 to 1,000 people small town. So it's fun, you can get your strollers out for your kids in and just walk around the town unless you buy bigger things. But it was really fun to go with a friend and just to get some bargains, find things to resell, find things to decorate with, and just things that I thought you would enjoy seeing. So I'm gonna start with the home decor first. And there were some, <laughs> there were some good finds and I shared on my Instagram stories just how much I paid for each thing and kind of how it all got clumped together. But this cutting board, um, all the things I'm going to show you here, I paid $5 for in total. It says, God bless our kitchen. I thought that would be cute to hang on the wall in our fixture upper, but I'm actually probably going to hang it this way um, or in my house. I don't know if the decorative boards you can actually cut on, but I just thought it would be, be really cute to hang. And like I said, I, don't, I like this thing, but this is very... Um, outdated to me, so I want this side on there. And I found two kettles. Now, the last kettle I shared with you in my last haul for a fixer upper had some wear in there, and so I'm gonna get rid of that. These ones are super nice because they don't ever chip or peel, and so the brand is Revereware. It's a two quart, so got that nice pot no lid though so i was kind of disappointed but it's still usable and then another copper kettle so my other one i cleaned up real nicely and i think it'd be fun to hang these you know on a wall or something um not sure this one doesn't have like a little hole in it so i'm not sure how i would hang that or just set it somewhere on open shelving or something the brand i am not sure i cannot cannot read it right now it's just a little bit worn but really cute little copper kettle there uh, I was so excited about this little marble tray that I found it has some cork on the back for some padding and I've been using it to put my dish soap on instead of a vintage plate I just like we have butcher block countertops so I like the contrast of marble now I don't know if it's real marble or not but it's just super cute on our countertop with the soap and a little flower on it and just a fun little find During Christmas time, I use these gooseberry patch books all the time for um, fun little recipes. So these were part of this whole lump. And so all of this that I just shared, including these three, I paid $5 for. So this gooseberry patch book, The Best of Country Cooking, I'll have fun perusing these on a night where I'm not um, out gardening or taking care of kids. This Christmas one, this is a soft back one and then celebrate the season. This one I thought would be really fun because it's more springtime right now. There's just some fun, fun little things in there. There's always fun treats in there to make. So oh, just really fun to have those on hand and to look through. So like I said, all of that was $5 that I paid for with that. Okay, the next sale I went to, everything was pretty much $2. It was amazing. So I got quite a bit of clothes there to resell as well and some uh, home decor. So this one, I, I listed these to sell already. They're just uh, mica decorations, glassware, big glasses to decorate with. I thought I would maybe use them, but they're not, I don't know, they're not quite my style. They're a little more modern, but I still really, I do like them. Just the color, it's like a gray, purple hue in that. So there was a tall one. Each one of these was $2. And then this more stout one was $2 as well. They just need a little cleaning up. They're like a little filmy on top. Okay, basket lover time coming out. What do you think this cost? It was at that same sale. Yeah, it was $2, so. $2 for this giant basket in super great condition. It would be beautiful for blankets. Our blanket basket behind me is getting a little worn. We've had it for 
five, six years already and little girls like to sit in it sometimes. So this, yeah, this basket, uh, my favorite, $2. And it's really sturdy, not much wear on it. And then at that same sale, this was not two, it was five. But if you look at these at antique stores, they're $30, $40. So actually I have two of these already that my grandpa gave me that he wasn't even using. And so my friend who I get eggs from, we're gonna exchange home decor for eggs. So she is gonna get this jug. So I just thought, why not snag it up for her? Okay, that may have been all for home decor already, but then at that same $2 sale, I got some Flying Monkey Jeans. That's a very popular brand to resell actually. So they have some distressing, some rips there, like some fading on the bottom. They're in super great condition. So I did try them on. They're a little bit big for me. So I already listed them to resell. And then I got some maternity clothes to resell. So just like some really nice distressed jeans for maternity time. Um, if I don't get them sold, I have a several friends who are expecting and they would fit them. Just this nice blouse. I love this color. And cause these sizes are just a little bit too big for me. And then I found like another dress to resell and a few other items at that store or at that rummage sale for $2. Okay, let's see. We're going to keep moving on here. At another sale, this coat was a dollar. And I thought it'd be a great fall spring coat. It is brown. It is free country. It's got some issues here. I didn't notice that till later with the string up on the hood. But, you know, it's got a nice lining. It fits me well. The sleeves are a tad bit short. But for spring, you roll up your sleeves a lot anyways. Nice pockets. Yeah, it's... It's just a really nice looking coat, so, and a hood, that's always handy. So that was a dollar. And then I just got this little swimsuit for my daughter who needed one, because it's getting nice enough out to have a swimsuit. So it just says sun on it. And then um, just a few things for my toddler girl, just this cute little blouse. These shirts were like 50 cents and then Pair of shorts was 25 cents with those cute little Cherokee shorts. Then this I think was 25 cents. She's wearing a shirt today, a striped Baby Gap shirt that was 25 cents. And then another one of my favorite finds from a different sale were these Toms. So I love wearing Toms just to slip on with some um, jeans, with a dress, especially if it's a little cooler or your nails aren't done well. These were my size. They have a little wear on the bottom, but I love the blue. They were $4 because I paired it with something else, um, another maternity dress to sell. And so I love the detailing on the inside too. They're just very cute. And Tom's are a nice quality shoe to have. So that is my haul for you guys. It was a fun rummage. Hope you can get out and go with friends too. It's a lot more fun to go shopping with someone else. I was helping my friend look for new pieces to DIY for her home. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. And I will be coming at you with another video later this week. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.